love to the priests, prophets, and the elders throughout the four corners. Much love to the to you brothers and sisters in this crew. With that said, Shalom. This is Rayabi Bangad from the Sakari set of set. Um, and the footage that you saw right here was footage from four years ago of Mike Salakia, of Mike Epps and Ricky Harris. Ricky Harris, the one that died on Christmas um, on uh, this past, su past Sunday. You know what I'm saying? And first and foremost, I want to say, call law, all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yashah for putting that wicked ass nigga to death, man. That scoffing and scorning ass nigga, man, to death. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Because that's exactly what the Lord, the Lord's been moving throughout this whole year, man. Killing these so called celebrities under within the uh, time frame of this Julian calendar that we're under. All right? Um,. This, this is beautiful, man. Them niggas stood on that street corner or stood right there. I guess there might have been uh, brothers that posted up on, on that spot. I remember watching this shit uh, three years ago. You know what I'm saying? A year before. This, this was done a year before I came into truth. You know what I'm saying? A, a year before. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care what camp... Uh, which curriculum you you study under, which particular camp that you're from, man. You know, I still got I got love for every brother that's out there teaching the word, man. Regardless, 
Um, and I and it pains me to see the watch on the videos, seeing these niggas scoffing these these wicked ass two third niggas in particular, because we we supposed to expect this from the na other nations, but you know I, I guess we can gotta expect it too, because guess what? It's in the scriptures as well that our own people will scoff at us. But the point being is that <clears throat> the point being, all right. To see our own brothers and sisters who were trying to wake up, scoff and scorn us, man. It, it it vexes me to see it. I don't give a damn which camp, which brother, which it, which it is. It, it it vexes me. You know what I'm saying? Even you know what I'm saying in mocking our in mocking brothers on the street corners teaching his word. It, I hate that, man. And even you know when I was when I was first exposed to this, when I first was watching it. And having to see firsthand standing out, standing, you know, not in the camp, but looking, you know, looking from the outside, man, to see, you know, cats scoffing, scoring the men of the Lord. It just, you know, this shit always hate that brought a lot of uh, brought anger in me, man, to see to see that now our own people just would scoff and scorn and scorn us now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I have to say, man, it doesn't matter which brother it is or which camp you're from. If you're trying to teach his word sincerely to the best of your ability, then I have love for you. And, I, and me, me personally, I hate getting scoffed and scorned. And I hate seeing other brothers get scoffed and scorned. We got to expect this. All right. Um, this is uh, Jude chapter 18. I mean, it's like Jude uh, verse 18. How that they, uh, let me start at verse 17. But beloved, remember ye the Lord, the words which, were spoken before the apostles of our our Lord, uh, Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. How verse eighteen that, it's like, uh, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own godly lust, right, man? And that's exactly what you know these guys are, man. A bunch of mockers, man. Mock, see. You know, one thing about, you know, these idiots, man, these dumb niggas, man, they're mocking, the, you know, they're mocking us, but they're really like mocking the Lord, because guess what? According, what is that? Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, where it talks about us being the ambassadors of Hamashiach, of, of Christ. We are the representations of Christ. And guess what? Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who you call Jesus Christ, is a representation. He comes in, he comes in the same image of his father. All right. The same likeness, the same, uh ideology all right to give praise unto him so you're mocking the heavenly father okay by the shit that you pulled now and that's why the lord put his judgment brought his judgment on your wicked ass now let me if i can pull up a uh like if i can pull up a, a picture of this this clown ass nigga man let me see If I can pull it, let me see. Uh, what's that dude's name? Ricky Harris. And bear with me. I'm going to pull out more scriptures, but I just want this punk ass nigga's uh, picture. And you know what, man? If Mike Epps is next, man, the Lord's going to pass his judgment on this on that nigga too, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this whole ass nigga right here, man. Lord brought his brought brought a cold judgment on so called Christmas Day on this Satan on that satanic ass holiday, man. Four years you years ago you mocked the Lord along with that wicked ass nigga Mike Epps. And guess what? You you six feet under, man. And all praises to the Lord, man. All right. We have every right in me. Look, we're gonna be rejoicing, man, in that day, man, because you know, our enemies is not just the, these other nations. It's also these two, these cats that that want to scoff and scorn the word and this truth that we boldly stand for, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me get let me get another one. Let me get Galatians real quick. Let me get Galatians six and seven. All right, this is Galatians chapter six, verse seven. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Like I said before, we're the rep mouthpiece of Yahweh Shai. Of Yahweh, of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot of the Heavenly Father and His Son. So guess what? When you mock us, you're mocking them in particular. 
me read this again. Galatians 6 and 7. Galatians 6 and 7 selected. Like Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And guess what? You, you sowed iniquity and you sowed wickedness, man. Huh? You know what I'm saying? And guess what? You reap what you sow. <laughs> like the scripture saying. You know, that which you, you sow is wickedness. And guess what? You reap wickedness, which is bad times, man. Huh? Or evil. You know what I'm saying? The Lord recompense you on your own head, man, four years later. Verse 8, for he that soweth his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but the soweth, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap ever reap life everlasting. And that's why we're out in the street corners teaching our brothers and sisters reproof, rebuking, and, and mourning for this destruction and our salvation. You know what I'm saying? Because we're trying to re receive that everlasting life, being being uh, heirs to the kingdom now, which is a, which is going to have his, his everlasting rulership now. You know what I'm saying? Um, because a lot of you niggas, man, you, you guys, a lot of you cats is, is walking around in the earth that have made it. Particular uh, niggas like, um, you know, this cat right here and, you know, guys like Mike Epps, you guys did that for sure. You did that to mock, not only mock us, but to but to um, be seen a man doing that. And if that's exactly what you did. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord, you know, brought his judgment. Okay? You know what I'm saying? And this is in, and we, re we rejoice in this, man. You know what I'm saying? And these, and guys like this, man, their name's already written in the earth. Actually, let me, before I get that scripture, let me get, get this one real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because a nigga like that, I mean, he's in his right mind now because he's up there with the rest, rest of the other souls of the uh, Israelites, whether they be one third or two third that are up there, you know, praying that the Lord uh, get us out of this condition, man. You know what I'm saying? So he's in his right mind right now. Guess what? His name is written in this earth now. Let me get this. Seven, uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 13. All right. And it reads, O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth. Okay? And, you know, guys like that, his names are written in the earth now. Okay? They're, they're written in the earth because, okay, you're, Everything that you've done, you know what I'm saying, to be seen of men mocking mocking us, all right, and everything that you've done, you know, not keeping the law, statutes and commandments, not coming into this knowledge, but instead mocking it, your name's written in the earth. You want to, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're an actor and all that shit, guess what? Your name is written in the earth. You, you got your constellation on this side, all right? We read that uh, part again. And they that depart from me shall be written in the earth because they have forsaken the Lord, the, found, the fountain of living waters. You, with those fountains of living waters is these law, statutes, and commandments. This knowledge that is supposed to reawaken you out of your slumber. All right? But you forsook the way. And you mocked us. The Lord got your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what, and you know what? I hope, man, Lord willing, man, Lord, get that 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 dumbass, retarded ass nigga Mike Gibbs as well. You know, the, the Lord passed the judgment on this whole ass nigga. Oh, Lord willing, this clown, this fucking Sambo coon nigga right here, Mike Gibbs. Hopefully this bitch faggot nigga gets his just due as well. This nigga smiling with his goddamn teeth, man. Can't stand niggas that do that shit, bro. But, uh, what else? Uh, what, what was the other scripture I was going to pull out? Let me get, let me get Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. Of Solomon, uh, 18 and 9. One of my favorite scriptures, man. Our right, wisdom of Solomon, chapter eighteen and verse nine. And so it reads: For the righteous children of good men did sacrifice secretly with Philistia, 
block. Block. I believe it's. I believe it's. Um. Bear with me, Akim. Let me pull out. I think I pull out the wrong script. Give me one second. All right. All right. This is Wisdom of Solomon 18. Yeah, because, you know, the scripture I'm going to pull out, man, because we rejoice in, you know, niggas dying. You know, niggas, um, you know, niggas dying because guess what? They're enemies of the Lord any damn way. Just like the heathens, just like, you know, because like, he, like, um, like David said, man, in Psalms 139, man, do I not hate thee that hate you, O Lord? Hey, you know what I'm saying? We hate the two-thirds, man, whoever they be. Lord willing, we're not a part of that number. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this, though. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, in verse 7. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous, you know what I'm saying, which we're you know, we're we're out there to push this word to seal the elect and the hundred the hundred and forty four thousand and in the rest of the one third. Okay. So the so thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and the and destruction of the enemy. Guess what? You're an enemy of the Lord if you're one if you're a two third, man. And that and that nigga was his name was written in the earth. He didn't he forsook the way, the fountains of living water. All right, so you know, if you if you're forsaking the law, such as a commitment, you're forsaking the Lord Himself, man. You're an enemy. You're an enemy of the cross. You're an enemy of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. You're you're an enemy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Let me um get more on it. Verse eight: For wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, by the same thou didst glorify us, whom thou hast called. For let me read that again. For with for wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, okay, you two thirds, coons like this, like uh, Mike Epps and uh, and um, Ricky Harris, is, and since Ricky Ricky Harris was the one that the Lord judged, you know, the Lord punished him, brought his judgment upon him. For wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries by the same, thou didst glorify us whom thou hast called. The Lord is, is glorifying us; He's purifying. You know the nation of Israel. He's going to uh, purge out the rebels, okay? And he's going to um, he's going to at the end of the day, the Lord, the brothers that that um, stay firm in this truth, diligently, persistently uh, push this truth out. Doesn't matter what camp you're in, what who, what curriculum you're under. If you're doing this on all truth and sincerity, and you're pushing the name Yahweh, uh, and why Yahweh shy, and you're pushing this truth. You're all right, and you're teaching our brothers and sisters and not teaching heresical doctrine. All right, and you're teaching and you're being diligent on the street corners, which we're supposed to, we're commanded to be teaching on. You know, the Lord is going to glorify you in that day. Okay. You know, and he's going to he's going to bring forth his his judgment on uh, wicked ass niggas like, you know, this nigga soon to be as well as. This nigga right here, who who the Lord just judged, um, on last Sunday, Ricky Ricky Harris. All right, all right. Let me get one more scripture, and I'm gonna close out. All right, you know what I'm saying? It's beautiful to see this, man, because because uh, we we all should take it personal, man. If you're in this crew, and a nigga like that dies, I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. All praises, man. You insult my God, you insult the, the heavenly Father, you insult it us you know doing this work and guess what you you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to pay that piper man which is your how is my shapak the most high god's judgment man all right all right this is daniel chapter 12 verse 2 and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life which is the what we're laboring for okay going back to the scripture that i brought out about about that um everlasting you know of, of Achieving things of everlasting, of everlasting life and of everlasting, um, that everlasting dominion. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're, that's what, you know, brothers on the street corners are laboring, laboring for that salvation and inheriting the kingdom. 
everlasting life, the everlasting dominion and kingdom. And in some, it's like in some to shame, everlasting contempt, right? Because the ones, it's like in Jeremiah 17, 13, some to shame and everlasting contempt. These are the ones that are going to wake up. Guys like Ricky Harris and soon to be Mike Epps and soon to be a lot of these damn, you know, two third niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? These two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you 12 tribes, uh, you 12 tribes that want to be rebellious against this truth and be against us in the most, in particular against Yahweh, Wai, Yahweh, Shai, and this, this truth. You're going to be destroyed. The Lord's going to bring his judgment. And you're going to wake up in the kingdom, be reborn in the kingdom. You're going to realize what, that you was you was that, that one third, and you're going to be have that everlasting contempt. You know what I'm saying? You're going to realize, man, that, you know what I'm saying, you reject the knowledge when the prophets was there. Okay? Now, with that said, man, I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Much love to the brothers and sisters in this truth. Shalom. Much respect to the priests, prophets, and elders in this truth. That's it, man.